So here we are again with some brand new Derwent products. I'm going to show you our new XL range, which includes some extra large graphite blocks and some extra large charcoal blocks. First of all, I'm going to show you the graphite blocks. So I'm going to do a quick drawing with this just so you can see how it could be used. I've got the burnt umber. I'm just going to draw a frame so we know where we're working. And we're going to do like a woodland scene. So I'm going to put in some rough shapes of some trees. Very basic, a big thing down here at the front. Okay, right, then we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to use an embossing tool here and I'm actually going to be scribbling with the embossing tool into the tree bark so to make a texture for the trees so then when we go over the top with the block it'll give us a bit of texture so I'll start off here a bit of a spiral on there so we could have some silver birches here I'm just putting in some random scribbles and things and when we go over the top they'll stay white so we should have a nice bit of texture showing up right Okay, so before we start colouring in the tree area, I'm going to add some background here with a bit of blue just in the top to indicate kind of horizon in the sky. And then I'm going to pick up the olive green and colour in the rest. Just block in the colour. You know, if you want to get in a smaller, you can just twist the block round, go down on a different angle. But so quick and easy, you can work up some really quick pieces. Right, using the burnt umber, I'm going to add in some shadow along the bottom here. Some shadows from the trees. Down at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to start smudging. So I use a finger here and just start smudging these background colour in. So that's given us the basis of the background. I'll just quickly whiz over the blue as well, just to smudge it in, make the tone nice and even throughout the background of the image. We can always go back into that a little later on, but at least we've got kind of a skyline now. Okay, we'll take then a piece of the raw umber. I'm going to start working over the trees. So this is where we'll see some of the uh, texture coming in on the branches. So I'm going to start off by working up the left hand side of each tree. So we've always got the light coming from the same direction on each one. And then we'll take the very soft graphite, which is the darkest tone we've got. Very, very black graphite. And we're going to go up the right hand side of all the trees. So 
see things starting to come a bit more 3D now. We'll add a bit more shadow in. Give that one as well. And then maybe just working really lightly into some of the trees. I'm just going to add a little little stripes of colour with the raw umber again. Picking out where I've put in, added in some detail, but not covering the whole tree. So we'll just add the odd bit in across there. And then also with the burnt umber. Okay, I'm going to use one of our nice soft art erasers to pick out colour. Because it's graphite, you can erase it quite nicely. So I'm going to add some kind of shafts of light coming in. <sighs> See how easy it is to make that come in there. I'll maybe bring some in down here as well. See how easy it is to pick the colour out. And then just to finish off, we can go around with the really soft and just add any more final bits of detail if we want more darker shadows or anything like that. Fairly happy with that for now. That'll do us. Hopefully it's shown you the sort of thing you can use these blocks for and uh, all the different things you can do with them. Before we go, though, I will just show you we've got some other little accessories that go with these blocks. We have grippers, so to help keep your hands a bit cleaner, you can take one of the grippers and slide that on and you've got a nice grip to hold the block with. So that's that. We've got this weird and wonderful looking cube. It's called the Groove Cube. And for this, we actually use it, we take a block and what it's used for is to add grooves into the side of the block so that you can make different marks as you're drawing. So if I just hold that still there and just run the block across the top, you can see those lines on the abrasive lines on the block, it, on the groove cube itself, are just scoring into the block. So when we come to draw with it, get a line, different different lines and different marks. So there's four different patterns on that groove cube so we can make four different marks. And then the third accessory we have, if we take, this is called the sprinkler and it's for making your own graphite or charcoal powder. And this is dead simple to use as well. We just take the block and run it across the top of the mesh and we get nice powder falling through, which you can either sprinkle into a wet area and it'll disperse, or you can use it like you would a graphite powder and actually use it to draw with, so to add tone, to add a nice even background to a pencil drawing perhaps, or actually just completely draw with, with that itself. So that's the new selection of accessories that go with the XL graphite blocks.